Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I was thinking of doing something a little bit different. Um, I really love watching like organization videos and um, especially when it comes to makeup and like beauty room tours and things like that. Um, so I thought I would do kind of like an overview of my room and then do um, more like my makeup collection, uh, vanity tour type things. I really like kind of finding affordable hacks and affordable tips um, to get what I want without spending a ton of money, obviously. So. So yeah, my room is not completely done. We did move in here in September. Um, so there were things that I wanted to get up first, so which was more like my vanity, my makeup, that kind of thing. Um, so there are some details missing in my room that I still want, but that's why I'm not doing like a full room tour or anything like that, because there's not really a ton to show. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing kind of how I organize my makeup, um, the containers I use, where I got them, stuff like that, then just keep on watching and let's get started. Okay guys, so when you walk into my room, this is kind of the overview here. Like I said, we are not quite done yet. Oh, and my dog was laying there, so of course that's messed up. Um, but yeah, I still want to get a headboard for my bed. I want to get like a nice dark gray headboard. Um, this big body pillow was 20 bucks at Walmart. I'm obsessed with it. This blanket um, was from Costco, again, 20 bucks. It's a Kate Spade blanket and it's queen sized, so it does fit over if I want it as a comforter. Um, other than that, I just have my duvet and I believe that's from Boucler. Um, here I have an ottoman. Again, I wanna say, actually this was from Sirens. They had like a little home section. Is it Sirens or Urban Planet? The one at the outlet mall? Anyways, um, yeah, so then I have my dresser. This is from Ikea. Um, I have, a picture here that I still need to hang up um, so it just looks like you're looking out into Paris so I really like that I got it from Walmart um, here if you guys are wondering I have a children's book called I am human it was a gift from a manager that I love very dearly so um, that's that and then behind here just a cute little book that my boyfriend made me for our anniversary and then yeah, I just have some perfume bottles and a picture of my sister and I at her wedding um, and my Desi Perkins sunglasses, nothing too crazy up there. Um, and then let's get to kind of the fun part. So this is where I do my makeup every day. This is where I film from. Um, I just use my natural lighting. So I am looking into getting like a ring light and all that fun stuff, but you have to kind of start somewhere, right? So this chair has got to go, by the way. It's literally looking like an eyesore. But anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, so then I have this as well, this is the Ikea Alex 9, uh, nine drawer set. And I started out with this one first when I started uh, getting a makeup collection, but then I really wanted to have like a nice big desk. That was my one kind of goal and project that I wanted um, when we moved into this house. So this is actually two um, Ikea Alex five drawers. So there's two small ones and then the last three are a little bit deeper. And then I just put an Ikea tabletop on top. Um, and it is a little bit big for it, so you can kind of see here, there's some extra space. Um, so you can trim it down if you want. I did not feel like doing that. So I just kind of left it how it is. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with what's on top. So I'll come over here first. Oh, that's my dog. So to start with what's on top, I have these little mugs here. This one is from Winners, and this one was gifted to me by a friend that I used to work with at MAC. Um, so this holds all my lip liners, and it just has an M on it. And this one says Hello Gorgeous and just has a bunch of like little knickknacks, like nothing that's super important to use, um, but that I don't want to lose either. And then I just keep some little keepsakes up here. So I have my MAC pin um, from when I worked there. I have this special little token that was given to me when I quit Mac. Um, so yeah, this this is special to me. And I used to keep it in my wallet, but I decided to keep it here where I can see it every day when I'm getting ready. And then this was also gifted to me by somebody I worked with at Mac. This says Makeup by Marissa, which is obviously my username for my Instagram and um, my YouTube. So this is actually was gifted to me as well as this chair. It's a director's chair um, for when I have clients. And it was actually, it has like a little sticky thing and you can kind of place it here. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. And I kind of just like it here to be honest because I'm scared I'm gonna lose it, but I do really like having that there. Anyways, moving on. Um, so this acrylic container drawer set is from Costco. I got it for Christmas a few years back. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of go through what I have in here. This is all my glitters. 
So in here I have my full size matte glitters as well as a bunch of samples um, that I just kind of snatched from working there. So, but yeah, you can go into MAC and ask for um, samples of anything. These are just some glitters that we had. Um, so I like to have those on hand. Um, the next drawer down, this is eyeliners, mascaras. So whenever I do any of my colorful eyeliner looks, I have those here. Um, some glitters, so I have some mascara, my brow wand. Um, this is the MAC white acrylic paint that I use all the time in my videos and or uh, in my posts on, on Instagram So that's that drawer And then this drawer is just some lashes all my MAC lashes And these are my lippies. So these are some liquid lips. I have some color kill These were sent to me a few years ago, and I love them. They're really really high quality for a pretty affordable price actually um, I have some matte glosses, Anastasia, some uh, Kat Von D back there. So these are like liquid lips and glosses. And then these are like chubby sticks. So there's some MAC, some NARS, whatever you guys can see. And then last but not least of this drawer, these are um, paint pots from MAC. Um, some kind of like eye bases um, and samples that I wanted to try when I worked there. Um, and then these are just some like loose shadows. So that I don't really use a ton of. So these are like coral colors, golds, whatever. Um, this is a pixie, whatever it's called. Anyways, they're like loose pigments. Um, yeah, so that's that. Then when you move over, I just have some of my organizing stuff. So these, um, my calendar, and this has um, client information and stuff like that, um, and bookings. So then I, this is just a spray that I made with some Young Living oils. It's a room spray. And this was gifted to me by somebody from MAC. So I just like to display that there. It's really special to me. Um, some makeup remover and wipes, blah, blah, blah. And then this fun piece. So this actually came from MAC, the acrylic holder. Um, it's one piece. So this was actually used to display lip liners like in the box at MAC. So this was up on the wall and there was just a bunch of different colored lip liners all through them. And they were getting rid of them because they were redecorating. So some of the staff got to take them, which was super cool. So I have that for my brushes and I just put some dollar store little gems and whatever in there. Um, but yeah, those are all my brushes. They need to be cleaned, obviously. Guys, why am I winded? I'm like the queen of talking a lot. Why is this tiring me out? Okay, moving on. I got this little guy at, uh, I want to say winners. Yeah, winners. Oh, and it was... $12.99 and I put my Johnson's baby lotion in there um, Because the bottle is huge and yellow and kind of ugly so I just put it in this cute little guy And then this is just hello bello. This is what's her name Kristen Bell's brand um, It's a plant-based brand. That's really good and affordable. You can find it at most Walmarts um, Basically just in the States right now. So I did order this online um, but yeah, it is a baby lotion, but it's super gentle. She basically um, explains her brand as just something that all moms can afford and you can trust like what's going in the products and stuff. So I was having some like um, allergic reactions. So I bought some more natural products. So that was one of them. Um, and then now probably my favorite piece. This I got off of Amazon. It was like 40 bucks and there's different sizes. But this is actually like a spinning lipstick tower. So this is where I display all my MAC lipsticks and some of my higher end lipsticks. Um, so these two sections here are MAC, and then these are all MAC too, but these are like limited edition, um, and some minis. And then these are some mineralized that they don't have anymore, and again, a couple more limited edition. I have some NYX, whatever. Um, Kat Von D. Yeah, so this is fun. And then at the top, I just have some lippies. Uh, these are the retro mattes from MAC. And this was a limited edition collection from MAC. So that's just how I displayed that there. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's one of my favorite favorite pieces. Um, again, from Amazon. And I just typed in lipstick, spinning lipstick tower, and that came up. So there are other brands too, if you want to check that out. Um, and then this light is just from Costco. It's a ring light, but it is kind of warm instead of like white lighting. So not necessarily my favorite, but whatever. Um, okay, let's move on back over to this side. So actually, as you can see, this desk does not come with this lining. I put this down, um, well, my, me and my mom did, because I didn't want to damage my table um, 
because I, when I do makeup, I get really kind of aggressive. So um, yeah, so I just put this kind of like plastic ribbed lining on top and I just taped it down um, so I can replace that and not actually ruin the surface of my desk. That's just until I can get that glass top because I kind of want that instead. So you can just really clean it easily and be done with it. Um, and it looks a lot cuter than like this plastic coating. But anyways, let's move on to the left-hand side drawers. So this is kind of like, my hair kind of section so it's kind of hard to see but in here I have some like hair clips um, I have some scotch tape back there for when I'm doing certain makeup looks and I want it nice and sharp I have some elastics some clear uh, rubber oh I have white paint on me <laughs> I have some clear um, and black rubber bands um, and then I have my little acrylic case here that hold all different kinds of bobby pins so I have some larger ones and then just regular and these funky ones I have some headbands back here that are kind of hard to see for when I'm doing my makeup or about to wash my face. And then I just have some Kleenex in here um, just to kind of sanitize any products, especially when I have a client. I like to always have a box of Kleenex with me. So that's the first drawer. And then, oh, and also all of these containers are from the dollar store. So I literally spent, these were, came in packs of twos. This came as a one. Um, I'll show you guys more because there's more, but yeah, all from the dollar store. Okay, so this drawer is kind of like my face product drawer um, for like powders and that kind of thing. So here I just have some um, loose powders. So these are my loose powders and then these are some face powders and some bronzers, um, my beauty sponges. And then I have some highlighting products here, um, some blushes from MAC, some more highlighters. And then all of these ones here are blushes. So I have some mineralized and some regular br uh, powder blushes. And then these are products I have not opened yet. So this is a Backup Fix Plus um, in the coconut scent. Uh, I got this before I left um, MAC for the last time. Yeah. So, um, and then a backup of my brow pencil. This was just like a mini little mascara. So I just keep that if I'm gonna travel. This was a Proud to be Canadian lipstick. Um, I do already have one, but this was gifted to us on Canada Day. So I kept that. And then this is a Plenty of Pow uh, Plumping Lip Gloss. So I won this for selling the most of something or whatever. So I just keep these here. They're just backups of some of my favorite things. And again, yes, sorry. These are all from the dollar store. So they had black and white, um, but they didn't have all black or all white. So I kind of have a mixed match of them, but it's fine. So now the next drawer moving down, this is all liquid face product and um, sculpting stuff. So here I have all of my foundations so I have MAC Next to Nothing, Face and Body, um, the Milani Conceal one. I have my trusty Studio Fix. This is a liquid br uh, bronzer from Temptu. I love this stuff. And then I have Matte and Poreless, uh, Maybelline, uh, Infallible Pro Glow. This is my favorite right now. And then these are just some samples of my Studio Fix, but they're in like different shades. So if I get a little bit more tan or whatever, I have backups. Um, so yeah, those are just some samples from MAC. And then here I have my concealer, so I have a matte kind of corrective, um, correcting stick for just small blemishes. I have a water weight concealer, my e.l.f., my pro longwear, and then again some samples. And then this is actually called Freckle Juice. <laughs> uh, we made this at MAC, um, and it's just kind of like my tone if I wanted to do fake freckles. So it's just a bunch of concealers mixed together, so that's kind of fun. And then I have a um, Model Co. I believe it's the brand, but it's worn off. I got this in an Ipsy bag. It's a contour stick and it's really good and smells amazing. So that's that. And then here I just have some like kind of bronzing powders. Um, so I have my Sephora one, comes with blush and bronzer. I have some MAC Holiday, um, my Kat Von D. And then this is just a Sephora palette that I just have some kind of leftover powders um, and blushes that I like to keep in there. So that's this drawer. Again, everything is from the dollar store. Next down is hair stuff. So again, everything from the dollar store. I have some brushes here, um, my Tresemme heat protectant spray, some dry shampoo, some sculpting stuff, shine spray, blah, blah, blah. Um, curling iron, straightener, and last but not least on this side, I just have some extra makeup bags, my brush belt for when I have clients, um, and just some like little knickknacks and stuff like that. Nothing important. Okay, going to this side now. So the first drawer is a lot of my skincare. So um, I actually have my Morphe setting spray. I have some MAC charcoal mist. 
Um, I like to use this after I wash my face or do a face mask. It's just really, really hydrating and charcoal does kind of like revitalize your skin. So I have that, um, some Fix Plus. I have some samples from Lush here. Um, it's a really good moisturizer. And then I have an exfoliator. This one's really good and smells really good. Um, yeah, I have my beauty blender uh, cleaner, deodorant, blah, 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 some hygienic cleanser from MAC that I use. Um, I don't think it's for sale, but I was given one by my manager um, to sanitize my brushes and stuff like that. And I have lip scrub and just some kind of cleansing products. So um, this is like a, what's it called? Charge water cleanser. And then I have my MAC face mask. This is my all time favorite face mask, you guys. Freaking bomb, go get a sample. Anyways, yeah, just some basic skincare. Um, and this is to clean my piercings. So that's that drawer, okay. This one is kind of like my bathroom like cabinet, if that makes sense. Like this is just kind of like needs. Um, so I have some just like uh, little pads here to clean my skin. Um, my favorite makeup wipes. These are the micellar water ones by MAC. Um, these are just some vitamins from Costco and they're gummies because I'm five years old. A supplement, some more like face pads. These are essential oil roller balls that I made. So, and some of them were gifted to me. Um, so this one's for headaches, has like peppermint, stuff like that. You put it on your temples, some backup makeup wipes, that kind of thing. These here, this little container here has like some scissors, some lash glue, um, mixing medium to hold your glitter on, some lash applicators, little razors and stuff like that for your eyebrows, things like that. Just literally just anything you could think of that you would put into your bathroom cabinet, that's what I would put in here. Next is um, palettes. So I got this little organizer again at the dollar store. I have this hard candy one. I put it right up front because I want to try it out. It's brand new. Um, I've just done like finger swatches. I haven't actually played with it. So I just put it here to remind myself like, hello, I'm beautiful. Try me. Moving on. Uh, back here is just a Ofra um, like Z palette that I got. Um, and then I just put some of my loose shadows that didn't fit into my palette in here so these are just back, like extras and colors that I don't use all the time this is my MAC palette I have a makeup forever palette these are my Jaclyn Hill um, times Morphe vault collection palettes here and then I have two of these because I'm obsessed urban decay electric so one of them's brand new but I just like to have a backup and then oh back here is um, it's not for sale anymore she actually pulled the collection but I kept it because I love her this is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill old eyeshadow palette that came out um, a long time ago but I just keep it because I adore her and yeah then here this is um, a palette that I actually made myself at Mac they do have like a pro palette section where it's a little bit more affordable to buy um, like the, sh the single shadows rather than paying for them individually if that makes sense so like let me show you when you buy an eyeshadow like this at mac it's like between 19 and 26 dollars depending on which ones you get and the formula when you buy a single shadow that doesn't come with the packaging they're nine dollars so unless the prices have changed since i worked there a few months ago but um yeah so i basically just made my own palette i have kind of like my everyday neutrals on one side and my um colorful colorful ones here so that's kind of fun and it's a nice way to make sure you use the colors that you get in a palette um, so that's kept on top here because I use it the most I have the Urban Decay Vice palette I don't really reach for this that much but it is what it is I'm move these out of the way actually my Jaclyn Hill palette I, that I love um, my Vita Loca palette this one's beautiful it's super colorful this was my first color palette that I ever got let's see if I can open this so it literally is like super beautiful and used and like scruffed up, but that's okay. And down here is just my James Charles uh, Times Morphe palette. So yeah, moving on. This is kind of just like leftovers drawer, if that makes sense. So here I have some extra spray bottles that I bought off Amazon for when I want to make um, like room sprays or body sprays or anything like that with my oils. And then again, some little oil dropper or whatever they're called, um, roller balls. And then here I have some Halloween stuff. So I have Ben Nye Fresh Scab, like fake blood, um, and then liquid blood and some foil, um, some really cool things like that, some gems. And that's pretty much it for this side. This last drawer is just like filing stuff, so it's nothing that would be interesting. 
Um, and then we'll move on to my Alex 9. So up top, I have my Google Home Mini, shout out Spotify for the free one. Um, I have my Young Living diffuser, and then I just keep whatever blend um, out so that I can keep reusing it if I like it. So I have Citrus Fresh, Orange, and Grapefruit in here right now. Um, I love this thing, guys. It smells freaking amazing. And then I have my Himalayan salt lamp and some extra oils back there. Um, the first two drawers are just kind of like jewelry and nothing super exciting. Um, this is my nail polish drawer. Again, all the organizers um, are from the dollar store. This is kind of like my travel drawer because I'm going to be leaving, um, I'm going on vacation soon. So I just kind of put some stuff that I don't want to forget in here and then as I remember I'll put them in as well. So I just have some extra bottles um, here for traveling that I need to fill up. I have a sunscreen, aloe, face wash, extra deodorant, um, phone charger, things like that. And then I kind of just throw things in there as I remember. This is kind of just like an extras drawer as well. It's not really exciting. I have that same brand by Kristen Bell, the Hello Bello Organic Bug Spray. I am allergic to mosquitoes, guys. It's not a good time. So um, I wanted to try something more gentle on my skin. And then you got your tampons, Diva Cub, all the girly stuff. Sorry, guys, if anybody's the guy here watching this, but it is what it is. Oh, and these are Hello Bello um, hand sanitizers. So again, just a lot more gentle, natural ingredients. I'm somebody who likes to clean my hands a lot, especially working in makeup. So having something softer is nice. This is kind of like perfumes, candles, random extra lashes, um, Young Living Thieves Cleaner. Um, yeah, these are just some, this drawer smells so freaking good. It smells like these candles. They have a cinnamon one, lemon and mint, which is my favorite. Anyways, some perfumes. As we go down, um, these are just some kind of sentimental cards and stuff like that, and cotton balls, nothing too fancy in here. Um, some extra makeup bags in here. And then these are all like my MacBooks from when I worked there. So we would have like trainings and get to see new things. This is my very first training book when I got hired. So I like to have these here to like look at, reminisce, whatever. It's just kind of fun to have. So I kept those. And then last door is kind of where I keep camera stuff. Um, some random extra boxes, nothing too fancy. And that cute little plant um, is from Winners. It's like six bucks. So yeah, I'll give you guys kind of the overview here. So again, I don't have a headboard yet. That's something I'm working on. Um, but yeah, it's kind of the overview of my room. Oh, that chair has got to go. <laughs> and then there's my closet, obviously. All right guys, that's everything for my room and vanity tour. I hope that it helped in some way. Um, I hope it kind of sparked some uh, inspiration. If you guys have any tips for me as well, things you really like to do, um, just let me know. I'm really into like DIY and like organization and stuff like that for my makeup. So um, yeah, just shoot me a comment and let me know. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe because it really supports my channel. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.